A very good evening to all of you. On behalf of the Rotary Club of Achievers Lanka Business School, I warmly welcome you all to this first workshop, Linked In or Left Out, under the series of the project First Impression. Today, we are going to the first impression, making a first impression when you step into the corporate world is very important. So today, we are going to start with the first step on how to manage your LinkedIn profile. Today, our speaker is Mr. Amitra Gamage. Let me introduce him to you formally. He obtained his diploma in marketing from the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing and Master of Business Administration from the Cardiff Metropolitan University. He is also qualified as a certified professional marketer from the Asia Marketing Federation and as an executive coach from the International Association of Coaching. After many years of experience in the field of sales and marketing, he is now the co-founder of Quantum Leap Private Limited, helping organizations shape talent strategies linked to business needs. He is the CEO coach, providing guidance in areas of leadership, strategy, and innovation, a, a personal branding expert, and also a LinkedIn expert where he is the founder of the first LinkedIn live talk show in Sri Lanka, Cinnamon Chat with Amitra. Today, he is going to enlighten us on how to effectively manage a LinkedIn profile and show us all the benefits that this platform can offer. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Amitra Damage. Sir, over to you. Good evening to everybody. Yes, I'm audible, and thank you very much for the invitation. And I heard few words like professionalism, corporate world, etc., etc. So uh, I believe majority of here are uh, young, aspiring professionals, people who are young and then who are planning to enter corporate world, or maybe they have just entered the corporate world. So uh, this is a good way of looking at it. Uh, you have. Uh, decided to have a session like this and then uh, everybody will be benefited along the way when you decide to uh, on with the corporate world or maybe even if you are planning to become an entrepreneur still uh, having a professional network could always help you and this is one of the best ways that you could have a professional network without having to work or do business for a very long time. Now, good old days when we, would, when we didn't have any of the social networks, the way to uh, way to recording in progress way to get your network is to have number of years as your experience. And then along with the experience, you get your network developing. Here what happens is you don't have to have your experience behind you to develop, enhance, enrich a great network around you. So let me uh, share my screen to help you with uh, optimization of your profile. Now, the first thing that you need to do on any network, be it LinkedIn, be it Facebook, or even Instagram, have uh, having a complete profile. You know, fill your education, fill your experience, fill your name. Uh, you know, have a have a great uh, profile picture, have a great background picture. All those things are important. I mean, even now when I look at uh, uh, this particular room, look at your profile picture. Right? Some have their names. That's perfectly all right. You have your name. And there are so many who do not have a name. I can see hearts. I can see a globe. Right? There are so many uh, logos. I can see a picture of an of a office. This is an opportunity for you to build your brand name whenever you go to a forum. Suppose if you are not switching on your camera, let's have your name. Or if you are not going to have your name, ideally, 
I mean, within your own network, you can have anything. Everybody knows who you are. If not, if you are going to an outside world, now here you are coming. Now I know uh, Vinuri because she was talking to me. She sent me emails. Now even after one month, if Venuri sent me a message or asked for a help or whatever, I know her. She has extended or grown her network by one more professional. That's me. So when we come here, each time, it is an opportunity for us to grow our network. That has to be your primary objective. I mean, within about one hour, I'll give you a good example as to why you need to grow your network at an early stage, at a young, younger age, not now, within an hour. I think we, we, we also had a bit of a late start. Uh, ideally, we should start on time. Uh, that's also how you could uh, become a, a great professional. I don't blame uh, Vinuri for that. But then, you know, if he say that we start at 5.30, let's start at 5.30. You said 5.15 to me, I joined around 5.30. And then I've been waiting. And then 5.30, we should uh, start. That's how we become great professionals, right? We know this is, uh, this is not to find fault or, any, fault or anything. But somebody has to tell. And uh, here in my case, apparently here yeah, I'm, I'm a professional and then I'm meeting these youngsters and I'm helping you. I'm spending my time to develop you. I'm, I'm not charging you anything or anything like that. So I think I have all the right to give you an advice next time. Even if you, there are only two people in the room, you say 5.30, that means those two people are serious about developing. That two people, you and me, we start the show. Got my point? Yes, because no point in having a great profile uh, on your LinkedIn. I mean, I'll tell you one great example. My son is launching his website. And there is this very active professional on LinkedIn. That person is a content writer. I contacted that person. For a fee, we agreed to develop my son's content. That person asked for exactly one week. One week is gone. On the day, on the seventh day, I sent the person a message saying, I hope you are almost completing my project. Mr. Gamage, can I have seven more days? Was the answer. Had I known that the person was taking more than seven days, I would have made up my mind. I would have, I wouldn't have told some people that we are launching the website. Now we have told everybody we are launching the website. Here the con it's an empty website, no content. My web developer is bugging me. Hey, where is the content? So it's about timing. So And then I spoke to two people. They said, Amita, even though that person is very active on LinkedIn and putting a lot of things about why you should have great content, uh, the person is famous for not completing the time, uh, the projects on time so i actually i was deceived by the content produced by that person maybe good, great content but the delivery is poor so professionalism has to be together so let me get into my linkedin profile straight away in order to give you a, uh, a proper kind of a uh, background as to you need to have a benchmarking profile you know? So you could actually look at my profile as a as a benchmarking profile. Now, are there any volunteers here who would like you to who would like to offer your profile for me to take and give you constructive criticism as to what areas are to be developed on your LinkedIn profile? I don't think you have to worry. If it is Facebook, you might be worried. Oh my God, I have very bad content here. But then. Um, if it is, uh, since it is not Facebook, this is LinkedIn, you will not be in trouble uh, for having bad content. There's no bad content here. Are there any volunteers who would like to say, hey, look, I'm willing to uh, uh, offer my LinkedIn profile so that I can make a comparison so that everybody will learn. 
Okay, Shadley, you can't speak up or what? Oh, uh, sorry, I just uh, dropped a text uh, thinking that might be a, a lot more appropriate. No, let's have a chat. Up. It's okay. It's all right. So, uh, okay. your, your name goes as Shadley Fernando, right? Yes. Okay, let me take another tab. I hope you can see the screen. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right. I'm going to send you a connection request. Would you accept it? Definitely. All right. Okay. Uh, now, Shadli, I'm going to give you a very uh, constructive criticism. Uh, this, I mean, consider yourself lucky so that you will improve. And whoever is watching this also can uh, improve. So, number one. I don't know. Maybe your your uh, your profile is perfect. I really don't know. So number one, what you need to do is you need to fix your uh, fix your personal brand. Like you should know what is your personal brand. So your personal brand is not your current job. For an example, my current job is co-founder Quantum Leap Private Limited. Now I haven't put it under my headline. Because my headline talks about my personal brand. So my personal brand is not my current job. Maybe I'm a student. You know, being a student is not your personal brand. Anyway, when you go down on your LinkedIn profile, it mentions that you are a student. So now in, in this case, uh, it says you are a visiting lecturer at East of Metro Campus. Unless and otherwise you want to, uh, now it says, see, you are an undergraduate. So it says that you are an undergraduate. Being an undergraduate is not your brand name, your personal brand rather. Anyway, when you go down, somebody is going to see you as a as an undergraduate anyway. So you don't have to put it here. How do you put it here is you can... Uh, uh, Shadli, are you also near a computer by any luck? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can also do some editing while we are doing this in case? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, now in my case, I said, I have helped 30,000 professionals and business owners to grow. So my my personal brand is I'm a CEO coach. I'm a personal branding strategist. I'm a LinkedIn marketing person. I am a live streamer. I am a sales performance evangelist. Those are my personal brands. I'm, I want to represent being a coach. I want to tell who am I. So I'm a CEO coach. Right? So Shadli, having to have a visiting lecturer here at, at a younger age, it will add value. Also, it would be great to tell the world that you are a visiting lecturer. Currently, having that kind of a personal brand is great. But I don't know whether you should be talking about that you are an undergraduate. So because there are, I don't know, how many undergraduates do we have in, in, a, in a year in this country? 100,000 undergraduates at any given time? So out of that 100,000 undergraduates, you are just one of the undergraduates. So it doesn't differentiate yourself. So you need to figure out what else can we call you, right? It's okay to call you an undergraduate if you are happy with that personal brand, at least for another two to three years, and then you will move out and then you will become somebody, right? So uh, what you need to do is you need to decide who am I, what am I, that you need to decide. So uh, if I were you, I would remove this undergraduate part of it. I would say a visiting lecturer, and I would say uh, uh, you are an engineer. I would say uh, a young, growing en engineer or young, budding engineer, because you want to associate the engineering part of it rather than calling an undergraduate. You will call yourself a budding engineer. That means you are still developing a bud. So a visiting lecturer. Budding engineer. That's all. That's your brand name. So you've got to figure out what your brand name is. Rather, brand personal brand is not the brand name. You have been already given a name. Your personal brand. Then, once when you finish that, 
you will go to your uh, about section this is my about section now if you can remember here my about section has various areas ceo coach personal branding strategies linkedin marketing live stream so when you uh, come down your about section now this is a very small about section i am an open network and a quick learner who can adapt to new responsibilities within the ability to multitask with strong problem solving skills to interact with team members also i work on part time basis while study now what you need to do is you need to break it down now you in in your case for an example now we are saying if you are happy with visiting lecturer and a budding engineer what you do is on your about section first paragraph has to be about yourself and overall one with something like what you have already written i mean open network it's it's a summary of who you are and second paragraph has to be a little bit about your visiting lecture part i love lecturing and i have been a lecturer for last two years and my favorite subject is i don't know whatever the subject Mm-hmm. and then so yeah. far i have covered so many hours so something to that effect and the third paragraph will talking talk about engineering from the small age i was a fan of electronics and then i can still recall removing and fixing my toys back and once my o level a level advanced level education is over i decided to become an engineer my favorite area of study or research is artificial intelligence or i don't know structural engineering whatever the area of engineering you can talk about it which will help you know people who are looking to give you a job or business to identify what is your areas of interest so your about section will have three paragraphs in this case one paragraph is this first one where you are, it talks about you second paragraph will be about visiting lecture you decide whether you want to talk about your uh, engineering part of it or your visiting part of visiting lecture part of it uh, mr amit uh, if, yeah. if you don't mind me uh, bothering you in between so like normally when it comes to the about section uh, is it already right fit a little bit long i mean now uh, in this case if i'm going to break it down to three paragraphs so uh, look at my my about section Okay. Why do you think LinkedIn has given <laughs> such a long? I mean, I can still write more. I have completely explained about my live streaming part. Sinaman Chat with Amita is the first LinkedIn live talk show in Sri Lanka. I interview an expert from a specific industry weekly. As a talk show host, I have helped my community gain knowledge and connect with experts. Running a talk show from October 2020 continuously has given me lots of insights into the live streaming industry. and it has helped me to get connected to a great community around the world from the industry let's talk about collaborations here i'm inviting people to collaborate on live stream then I, the training and consultancy that i do sales performance enhancement that i do personal brand coaching that i do and executive coaching i do and i have one small two three sentences summary about overall who's amita gamagi thank you okay somebody yeah, wants to know about a specific section about my life they can straight away okay. go to that life not only that now this these there are key words in it which could be caught by a search engine say for an example executive as an executive coach i coach ceos so if somebody ever type a coach for ceo i have to be found i help leaders who help them achieve variety of goals with its gaining self awareness clarifying their career path then time uh, uh, spent with an experienced exceptional ceo coach gets real observable measurable results these are keywords and all my clients are extremely happy with the result so if somebody is looking for a coach and if they ever come to if if they ever discover me they will go to my about section and only read the executive coaching part i mean if you have a hobby a serious hobby not a, not just a hobby uh, for an example you you like photography or stamp collection a serious hobby not a not a just a hobby 
don't just fill your profile with unwanted data that can come in in your headline and there could be a maybe let's say you have three dogs at home and you will say a dog lover at the end of your profile i mean over here you will say a dog lover if you have three dogs at home if you i mean i have had a dog about 15 years ago i can't call myself but i mean i love dogs but then I, me calling a dog lover versus someone who is having three dogs at home calling a dog lover there is a i mean got to be fair are we clear yeah. Yeah. so let's go to now then the second one is you got to have a great profile picture because profile picture tells the picture has to speak on behalf of you that's the whole idea the picture has to speak on behalf of you it has to talk about yourself now when you look at my picture it tells the picture speaks itself i don't have to say anything now let's go to your picture what is this i'm uh, sorry about my uh, yeah. this is uh, your college yeah emblem yeah. i mean, who would know i mean i, I don't know i'm from badu central college i went to hapatule dammananda and uh, vialu central college i don't know what this is maybe your old boys would know you get my point yeah. like so i'm i'm sure there are better ones I'm, i can see that there's a great picture maybe you have spoken at a particular forum someone has taken a picture where you are speaking at a podium a picture like that can say a lot about you maybe you are since you are a visiting lecturer uh, a picture someone has taken while you are lecturing can actually tell something better than what your school emblem can do sure it, i mean there's nothing wrong in having it here but you are wasting the space mm -hmm. i mean yeah. when i go down it clearly tells you that you have gone to st benedict's college here it's there i know that so i mean why do you have to have here i'm going to help you uh, not only you i mean anyone who is visiting because if somebody wants to give you a job anyway the person is going to go through all this go through the school anyway all right so please use a good uh, background picture and then uh, let's go to the about section that was done then you add your experience right so i have added all my job experience now in your case you have added all your okay visiting lecturer volunteer customer service manager freelance researcher a property manager all that is been added here okay there's one more data entry operator even if you have worked in a bank or some place for 6 months as a intern for god sake add it here right and then if you have gone and uh, helped to clean the beach you got to add it somewhere i mean i will show you here the volunteer experiences are here add them here mm. don't add anything that is not true you are going to get caught you don't know who is checking your profile right it says volunteer staff road rec kalam uh, club of kalam maybe the person who is looking at this is a serious road rec one call he can find or she can find details so be genuine don't add anything that is not there that, that doesn't belong to you so basically here i have added my education qualifications license and certification certified coach international association of coaching volunteer experience career coach then you get into the skill and endorsement section so let's see your uh, i'm taking uh, uh, shadley's one as an example let's see uh, skills and endorsement so uh, skills and endorsement you have said your main three skills are teamwork team leadership and data entry is that correct uh, yeah are you sure i'm sure there are better skills now if i go here and these are the top skills social media marketing management and team leadership now if i think that my management skills are better i can pull it up and send the social media down or i might decide to add 
pull my team leadership better then industry knowledge marketing strategy business strategy even these if i if you, if i want i can pull my business strategy and then pull down marketing strategy so i can change the the priority of my skill set and then i say save and then if you look at my skills these are the skills that i have said and 94 people have said i have endorsed me for business strategy right so likewise i'm sure people have they say you know adobe photoshop computer hardware adobe lightroom photoshop interpersonal skills leadership acting customer service teaching public speaking others uh, you know uh, church music vocal music all these are so you have basically filled your skills and endorsement part let's see whether you have got any recommendations uh no you have not got any recommendations now in my case now recommendations you have to ask i have three recommendations and i have three pending recommendations also okay so see 1 2 3 uh, so i haven't added them to my profile so i'm going to add it here someone has added uh, uh what can i say a recommendation and i have failed to add it added right so well i would like to call him the person who changed my job role who showed me the correct path in career wise best motivator advice highly recommend him for mind games with the employees for motivation so i'm going to add it here <laughs> i i didn't see it and then two more people have uh, given me recommendations now remember now i have 1 2 3 4 recommendations now recommendations you got to ask from people see ask for a recommendation i can add, uh, who do you want to ask i can add someone here and you know this uh, choose from this drop down menu i can't ask for a recommendation from someone who is not on linkedin but remember one thing don't come and ask recommendations from me if i don't know personally you about you if i haven't worked with you how can i how can i uh, recommend you if i don't know you personally just yes, because you are on my linkedin i don't know whether you can deliver a project on time i told you one content writer just failed me i thought that person was a great person in terms of delivery maybe content writing is good so how what if i have recommended that person so i never recommend anyone if i don't know their work personally so you have to ask sadly don't send me a request for recommending you i don't know you so look for your one of your senior lecturers a teacher uh, someone uh, your former boss who would be generous enough to give you uh, a recommendation Uh, sir, uh, sorry to uh, disturb once again. Uh, so, do you mind just going back to your profile and just showing me uh, the section where uh, where you ah, okay, sure, the sure, recommendation? Sure, sure. Because in mine, I cannot see that. It has to be there. So, I can go to say I'm on my one. After the skill section, there's a section. So, there is something called ask for recommendation. if you press this it it will show uh, uh, whether i need to add the other recommendations that is that has come my way and i have given 12 recommendations yeah i believe i don't have that section in my profile you know you refresh your uh, uh, profile if it is on your phone maybe uninstall the app and reinstall you will have uh -huh. all the latest features in it. I'm using Sometimes the uh, desktop version, sir. Uh, then try your uh, uh, try your mobile phone. Okay, I will. You you it it you got to be there. It is that everybody has something that everybody has. Sure, I, I'll check into it and see, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, any questions so far from the others? 
Uh, guys, if you have any questions, you can either unmute yourself and ask from Mr. Amitra for or yourself, or you can yes, put it on the chat box. So, any other volunteer? Um, I guess I'm that... talking. I, I'm. I guess I'm talking to future leaders. I can see their pictures. You know, some are wearing ties. Look how how smart they are. Look at their fa facial expressions. Very confident, and they want to move into the professional uh, world. Yeah, we know you were trying to say something. I'm sorry. Um, no, I do have a personal question. Could you like explain a bit about endorsements? I would like to know. Uh, endorsements are uh, given to you by people in your network when they know that you are good at something. Say you have added some skills on your own. Let's say now. I do a session like this. People go and endorse me for presentation skills sometimes. I don't ask for it. They just go and like generously go and endorse. People who have got coaching from me, they go to my profile and check my coaching abilities and endorse me for coaching abilities. Oh. Any other questions? Oh, I have a power cut, no issue. My, uh, uh, what do you call it? My Wi Fi is backed by a UPS. Just give me a second uh, until I fix my uh, battery powered LED. Just give me a second, please. Yes, sir. Okay, my electricity is back again. But then, you know, I have my my Wi-Fi is backed by a UPS, and then I have an additional light which can help me in a situation like this. That is also called professionalism. I can't give you an excuse. My power went off. My Wi-Fi is not working. I don't have light. Those are excuses. I can't disappoint you. You all have decided to come to this forum, uh, saying that I don't have power. I can't disappoint you. That's how this uh, professional world is running. Okay, any questions? Um, sir, there's another question. Um, sir, can we add any certificate for the LinkedIn profile, like for online courses? Like if certificates you have done a... for online courses. Yeah, you can say under certifications, you can add uh, if you have, I, I'm sure, let me see. Uh, let me see whether Shadley has added any certifications. Now I have added certifications. Where is that? See, IT preneurs. That's a certification that I received. And if you have uh, certifications, you can add them here license and certifications. I can add another certification here. Name of Microsoft Certified Network Associate. Issuing organization. All that can be added. That's a good question. Anything else? Before I go to my next section and finish the session, in the sense, you know, there are a few things that I need to discuss. So I just wanted to know whether you have questions up to this point. Also, is there anybody else who would like to um, either give you a profile for me to look at or uh, if you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, shall I give my profile? Uh, my name is Lakshan Banhekar. Yeah, of course. Why, why not? Let me first uh, get it. Lakshan, L A K S H A N. Uh, B A N N E H E K E. Computer science and engineering undergraduate. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'll I'll do a quick, uh, a quick one with you. 
so as i told you earlier your background is beautiful uh background picture uh, looks like a picture from canada uh what does this picture represent uh, it doesn't represent anything yeah. isn't it yeah yeah so i mean it's it's okay not to have a picture but then it's like linkedin has given you a hoarding a billboard in colombo a billboard that can be seen by the entire world and you are not utilizing it it's a crime right again your personal brand is computer science and engineering undergraduate at university of moratua anyway when i go down it says here university of moratua 2018 2022 obviously you are an undergraduate so you don't have to do it here what you do is you go here right click this pencil button here and then see edit your headline but then you need to know what is your personal brand now in my case i know what is my personal brand okay lakshan and then uh, your about section is only two lines i am sure it is only two lines but based on what you put over here i'm sure you will i mean you took the example you saw no what i told the other gentleman use that an example you can always go to my linkedin profile and see how i have organized myself and look at it and you have done a yeah, lot of licenses and certificates server side networking essentials super you have completed a lot of things and you have added them volunteer experience this is very important when you want to get a job skills and endorsements yes uh, even tools and technologies i can see you are a serious uh, techy person python java superb uh interpersonal skills only one i'm sure you can add few more skills by by yourself and then others will go and endorse them uh accomplishments only thing you have not asked for recommendations so your background picture your personal brand your about section needs attention and your recommendations and then uh let's see whether there are any other questions before i move to the other important section and then we are i'll spend about 10 15 minutes over there anyone no questions fine i can see that we are losing people uh, now we have only 46 fine uh, let them go but we'll go to the next most important section of this whole discussion now the next most important discussion is the number of people that you have in your network you will see that in my network i have 17099 people and in your case uh, lakshan you have uh, 503 followers right and i'll go to your post what you have posted four months ago you have done networking uh, cisco networking uh, essentials four months ago and four months ago you have posted a video seven months ago you have uh, my first some application uh, my first article eight months ago ikkada maasa hatarakata sare yak thamai mona hari daanni okay now let me go to my uh, there are two things here i'm going to talk about your relationship and connection strategy the other one is your content strategy since i looked at lakshan's post generally you need to be posting at least every uh, say two posts per week ideally so you have eight post minimum but if you can't post at least once a week that means four posts for the entire month i really don't know whether you should keep your linkedin profile so in my case i post daily right so this was my two days post right about and this was my uh, yesterday's post you know this was from my linkedin live uh, talk show i interviewed asiata digital labs uh, ceo right for those who are doing uh, computer side you will know him and then tomorrow at 7 o'clock i am interviewing two people one is shane vanderwall who is a uh, europe's top 10 one of the top 10 street musician who went from sri lanka to europe mostly he plays in uh, germany 
And Charaka Pereira is a, a, reta, a retail expert, you know, who has global experience. We are going to talk about musical marketing, how to use music as a marketing tool uh, and to operate in the blue oceans in the global stage. And tomorrow at 8 p.m. onwards, from 8 to maybe 10, we'll be playing about 15 songs while talking about entrepreneurship, marketing, and all that on LinkedIn and on Facebook. Right? This is my, you know, see, on, on daily, I have been posting four days ago, four days ago, six days ago, one week ago, right? Then one week ago, one week ago. Then one week ago, my other usual Thursday live talk show, right? This I have again interviewed a supply chain specialist from uh, uh, Australia, a Sri Lankan living in Australia, who is a supply chain specialist, right? Then uh, one week ago, every day I post. Now, this is very, very important that you post daily. Okay, so that's your content strategy. So what kind of things can you post? I'll show you. Photos, videos, event. If you are hosting an event, then you can write an article. And then you can, of course, uh, uh, you can welcome someone to the team, give kudos, project launch, work anniversary. If I'm getting a promotion, a new position, I can announce it to my network. What else? I can run a poll, right? I can ask... Uh, uh, do young professionals uh, speak speak at forums? Yes, no, adoption, sometimes. And I can publish this, right? I done, right? I can say uh, we do. We go to many forums. I will say online forums. And, uh, and just watch. How about the young adults? I can ask my audience. And I can post this. Do young adults speak at forums? Yes, no, sometimes. And I can give one week and then I can publish this. So I can get audience to engage on my profile. Now this is type of content. So there are different types of content that you can post, videos. I, I post videos all the time, right? Even if I fail uh, normal videos, I will make sure that I'll go on live. You also have on the phone, you also have, uh, what do you call, stories, LinkedIn stories. That is to drive traffic to your profile. So my next most important thing is adding professionals. You have to send connection requests out. But remember, before you send connection requests out, now we have 42 people in the room. Before you send a connection request out, first you fill your profile. You complete your profile and then you will uh, send connection requests out. If you send a connection request out without completing your profile, meaning without optimizing your profile, the other party is not going to accept your profile. And some will not even accept undergraduate because it doesn't say anything about it. Right? I don't do it, but then there are people who who says no i don't want to get an undergraduate but if you say you are a you are a you know budding engineer or aspiring to be an engineer or something like that they will take you in second thing is then they will go and see whether you have posted anything meaningful so if you haven't post in the recent past they know you are just coming here just to stay and go so it's important if you want people to get connected to you you also need to have a a uh, bit of a content strategy. It will help you to showcase who you are, your expertise. Now I can see uh, in the case of Lakshan, Lakshan is a techie. 
but then showcasing that you have net you have got cisco networking essentials is not going to help i can see 50 people have still liked it but then instead if you can do a video about some recent network technology change by cisco and then ask a question you know do you encounter these challenges on your day to day uh, networking situations so or you might even say how to secure your wifi wifi password five things you should do as soon as you have your new wifi router you can write an article you can create a post or you can even do a video so people who come to your profile will feel wow look at him not everybody is good at video so an article or a small uh, post would help you are we clear so yes. if you don't yeah uh, anyone has any other questions Vinuri? Yes. So can I uh, introduce my 12-year-old son to talk about his LinkedIn journey, maybe utilizing 10 minutes of your time. So you, yes. will, le you will learn uh, how you can do it as a kid so that you will know that others can anyway do it. So just give me a second. Uh, he's just outside playing with some of his friends. Let me invite him quickly inside. Uh, hello, everyone. So uh, before I start, I'd like to say thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak here. Thank you so much for joining with us. Uh, just give me a second to share my, uh, share my screen. So today I'm here to talk about my journey with LinkedIn. So this all started, my whole journey started in December 2019 where I spoke publicly for the first time ever in a book club called Pick a Book. I presented a very nice book called Diary of Wimp Kid that, that I still enjoy today. So uh, when I did this presentation, it really showed my dad that I had public speaking, uh, speaking skills and he thought that I could appear in some of his videos since I could speak so well. And then I did speak. I interviewed a lot of CEOs and businessmen, but that's for his work. But then my father realized that why do I need to appear in his work when I can do my own work? So he started a YouTube channel for me and we named it Cinnamon Chat with Natila. So that's how it all started. It started with this book presentation and then it ended up with a YouTube channel. Then this is my YouTube channel, Cinnamon Chat with Natila, where I interview successful entrepreneurs and CEOs and where they... So every tip that I gained from these successful entrepreneurs and CEOs those tips are passed on to the younger generation so they can learn. Here are a few CEOs that I have interviewed. The CEO of the largest e-commerce site in Sri Lanka, Mr. Mr. Duli Therat, and he's the founder of Kapraka.com. CEO of Lanka Clear, the former CEO of Nivasi Developers. I started my LinkedIn profile. I created it in December 2020. And... Thanks to LinkedIn, I have gotten invited to a lot of, lot of podcasts and interviews. One of them, uh, one of the things where I was inv inv invited to was uh, Lusaka Startup Week Africa, where I spoke about my journey just like I am here. This is my LinkedIn profile. And I have, as you can see here, I have 2023 followers here. It's Nathalie Nimsat. I, I'd say I'm a, I'm a master at LinkedIn because I have a lot of moods on it. I have create a mood and I just received LinkedIn live. So in a, in a, we can see here the difference and how fast I can get followers. So here, my, here, here, here we have then 2023 followers and then just a couple of weeks later, 2,474 followers. So that's how fast because I post every day I manage my account. And today and until today, it looks like I have 2,588 followers on LinkedIn. As I was saying, thanks to LinkedIn, I have gotten invited to a lot of podcasts and talk shows like Sri Lanka's first LinkedIn live talk show, Cinema Chat with Amita, where I was interviewed and where I talked about important topics like personal branding for kids. There's another LinkedIn live that uh, I speak at called Young Pranav Spotlight, where I host it and I interview successful CEOs and young entrepreneurs like Hasin Lakshmi Naram. She's a TEDx speaker. She's a reporter for the Hindu school edition. 
and a young marine biologist just 9 years old and she's learning about the ocean and encouraging others to protect it so here are the benefits that i received from linkedin i am very active on linkedin i post every single day at least i try to and i manage it so so thank because i uh, post every day people know that i am a very active person and they tend to talk to me more since they know that i am active they send more messages to me saying hi can i speak to you for a sec so they know that i am active and i will always see their messages i receive connection requests daily to new people new newspapers new magazines and all of those kinds of things i get connected to influential leaders so here are an examples Mr Dilhan C Fernando the CEO of Dilma Silonti company and Mr Rakil Fernando he is the managing director at Daraz I also had a LinkedIn live that I previously did it's a LinkedIn live that I had on the 16th of July where I interviewed Mr Jatin Katari he is from India and he is a startup guru he tells he teaches startups on how to be successful I receive a lot of opportunities to speak in podcasts, live shows, and TV channels, YouTube channels, and newspapers, magazines, mostly from other countries. And they want to know; they all want to know about how I become an entrepreneur and how long I will continue this. And I will be, I will be continuing this for a very long time. And I will be launching my website, and my startup has already been launched. It's going to be active very soon. So all of this, all of these live shows and invitations that I get, they help me as an entrepreneur and as a kid. So this is my next plan that will happen. I will continue to interview successful entrepreneurs on my YouTube channel and on LinkedIn Live. I will interview a lots of successful kids and business owners. I will continue my work as an ambassador for Child Action Lanka. I will launch my website Masterpreneurs. Watch out for it where I teach kids entrepreneurship. I will extend my brand to other areas like tea and and t-shirts and so that's how will I I will extend it. I will have a global audience for my shows. It's what I plan to have. So this is a small glimpse of my website. The Masterpreneurs is dedicated to building kidpreneurs. I will teach kids entrepreneurship, and we will have different courses. We will have things to buy like robotic sets, coding sets, baking sets, <clears throat> and there will be different courses to teach kids all these. LinkedIn is my main business development platform, and I'm very grateful to LinkedIn because it has helped me a lot. Thank you very much for listening to my journey. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nathila, for joining with us and sharing your experience on LinkedIn. I'm sure it was very inspirational to all of us. Thank you once again. Thank you. It's no problem at all. I hope you learned something. We have thirty-eight in the room, so. Uh, Basically, if you have any questions, we can uh, look at it. Or else, my job is done. Did you have any questions? Once again, I remind you: you can unmute yourself and ask from Mr. Amitar, and uh, or you can put a message in the chat box asking a question. Uh, hi, hi, uh, hi, Mr. Amitar. I've got one question. Uh, hi. So, uh, when it comes to making connections, is it necessary that you send your connection requ request per se to uh, people you know, or do you, or do you need to send it to uh, you know people you know that that you think you that you should send it to? No, no, no. You see, uh, this is not like Facebook. You can send it to any stranger, but you have to add a note, and in that note, there has to be some justification as to why you are sending that connection request. that is very very uh, uh important that you send that uh, note uh, in the in the connection because so generally you add people in your domain now i can remember i used to add a lot of people from hr fraternity because i was a trainer so who who can give me business is the hr department which the hrd department so i because of that i used to add a lot of people from hrd but then i was not just adding i was making enough content on my profile so when i send the connection request when they come to my profile they see wow super kind of content that i post 
five things that the employee should do in order to have career growth how do you upskill yourself in your job now these kind of content are really resonating with uh, uh, the hr fraternity so i send a connection request to hr manager he comes back and check my profile and he feels like wow i need to connect kamita immediately now this is what my okay. son does my son is 12 years old he sent a connection request to a ceo of uh, uh, dilmati and he is not even connected to me but he is connected to him managing director of uh, daras connected to him because he is talking about entrepreneurship he wants to get connected to so many entrepreneurs because he has an academy to teach entrepreneurship so you have to have some kind of a reason i mean for an example if you are thinking about joining john kills one day we all have you know those favorite organizations so maybe it's good to have so many people joining your profile from john kills group but let's say if you are into it if you are into hr whatever you need to make sure that you produce content so that the other person who is coming will feel wow i think this person is someone who should be in my network there's a lot of things that i can learn from him even though the person is younger i'm sure my 12 year old son you know gave one or two points that you could learn today even though he's 12 years old age is just a number you know there are very senior people and then then i shouldn't be on social media with my age i'm generation x but i'm giving a good run to millennials and generation z while being at this age right i, I can't be so tech savvy ideally even to be on social media but then i'm using a I'm, i'm losing a latest apple i'm using a jabra device but before that i was using this ordinary piece of uh, uh, cables from my mobile phone and then later on i realized no i need to improve but now i know my audio quality is better people saying hey look amazing so this is a everyday learning everyday new thing hope i answered yes yes this is it uh, thank you mr amida okay pinuri looks like there are no other questions um yes i think so i was uh, actually thinking of what um the answer is there to be fast um so like as you said if you want to get connected to a company like assume that you are looking for a job opportunity there so with your profile and how you um manage it the, the by the kind kind of content you can definitely make an impression there as well yeah because when you send the cv they definitely ask for your linkedin profile and they check your linkedin profile but then if you only have the normal details filled that is anyway they are on your cv yeah. what is the difference between your cv and the linkedin profile nothing except for the content part everything else on your linkedin profile can be included in a cv but if you made a video yesterday if you did a beach clean yesterday that is not there in the cv which you sent uh, one week ago one week ago you have sent a cv applied for a job and yesterday you went and volunteered by cleaning the beach which will prove to the person who is interviewing you one day this person is a very good people's person he has team work because your beach cleaning project picture with so many people you are helping the society can talk more than your cv in your cv you can say i am a people's person i i am a team person who knows your actions will speak louder than your uh, louder than your words which is why it's very important to add your volunteer experience and i'm sure most of us have a lot here as road tractors and even non road tractors it's been very important to add your voice please we have any more questions from the audience uh, so mr amita this is uh, i previously asked the question as well uh, yes uh, so this question is i think uh, since we are all road tractors here 
so most most are road tractors here so we've got a bit of you know we conduct projects and we are, in, we are involved in a volunteer uh, in what in volunteering basically so uh, in a particular so so you said that with regards to content we need to have content maybe at least one post per week so if we bombard the whole linkedin content with our volunteer volunteer experience only will that be a problem or will that have an effect because i think uh will they have that any effect when 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 making connections no but then you know that means if you are going to be a professional volunteer one day that is good now if you are going to be an engineer and if you have only volunteer thing that you do what about you know the things that are happening academically at your university don't you don't there are anything else that is happening i'm sure there are so many things that is happening i mean just because you are a road director I'm, i don't think that you only have uh, uh, you know volunteering work how many volunteering kind of thing you do on a on a on a daily basis i mean so uh, how many projects do you have like once a month or i mean how often so normally uh, maybe once a week some 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 clubs have once a week some certain projects so let me let me show you something uh, let me take you to my sons this is my sons uh, linkedin profile young entrepreneur founder of cinnamon chat with netele inspiring kids to become entrepreneurs connecting global young entrepreneurs together to grow from next week he will go live weekly he will be the youngest linkedin live uh, streamer i don't know whether it is the world or not but let me show you what he is posting on a daily basis as a as a 12 uh, year old kid i earned 50000 rupees when i used to appear in my dad's videos i got paid 500 rupees per video then i entered my entrepreneurial journey i worked hard i'm still learning financial management even though me and my dad have discussed what to do with the money i would like to get your opinion on what i should do with the money i don't have a phone my business needs more investment and my mom asked me to save so many people have commented what to do one person is saying hey put a fixed deposit at lb finance right invest in yourself right invest on exploring new knowledge buy some shares at tata hdfc bank and just forget them until you are 20 people are saying then he is talking about jeff bezos going to space that is his yesterday's content is there before content i got linkedin live few days back congratulations you can now broadcast your personal profile right 43 people have one week ago a book presentation to india no he, he he presented a book to india then uh, one week ago knowledge versus skills he ran a poll the world youth skills day an event organized by the united nations celebrates the strategic importance of equipment equipping the youth with skills for employment entrepreneurship and work it is observed on july 15th every year what is your take on school education traditional school system is not teaching enough skills or so they teach a limited number of skills yes no they are ch- change and then 27 people have voted those plastic bags at home yes no i have i'm changing right my linkedin while after a while one week ago meet a global startup meant a video every day he is posting again he uh, he he give a presentation to uh, uh, a school a technology school or rather a university in india bharat university that poster and then he addressed i did a session with an audience of 250 plus about how to use linkedin with my dad the session was organized by the rotary club of ratnapur i'll be doing few more sessions this month so there were 250 plus adults rotary club members from ratnapura this was posted by them a big thank you to everyone who joined with us he post every day his linkedin live session some days are great the new macbook pro with m1 chip he is doing a comparison a video 136 likes 
Hyundai just bought Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics is a robotic firm. It's an article from interesting engineering from internet. He's talking about Clubhouse. I have seen that my father is very active on Clubhouse with topics such as personal branding and LinkedIn. Clubhouse is a social networking app, you know. So are you on Clubhouse? He's not on Clubhouse, but he's asking his audience. 54 people have liked it. So he's talking about B2B, B2C, C2C and H2H. 57 likes. Ideas for Lego. Thank you, Daniel Safero, for sharing this article. Other books I read. People ask me whether I read only self-help, motivational, and biographies. But the truth is I read what other children read too. These are his books. My last six content pieces. My last six pieces of content are different from each other. Every piece of content tells a different story and gets the attention of different target audiences. I try and understand the different interest of my target audience to create value for them. And then he has taken a screenshot of last six posts and put it he was trying to interview the youngest audio engineer who is an all-level student, a professional audio engineer on 3rd July. Who viewed my profile? I don't have a premium account to see every single person who viewed my profile during last 90 days. But I know 3,168 members have looked at my profile and there is uh, a 363% growth since last week. I know my content is doing the job when I see the dashboard. I hope I answered your question and many other questions. Yes, yes. I think uh, it's best to have a mixture of, you know, different types of content when, you know, managing your profile. Yes, understood. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So I see uh, Henan has asked a question. Can you please give some advice to maintain LinkedIn account? How can I improve my profile with this? I mean, I don't know what time you ask, but... Uh, my today's entire discussion is covering that question only. Uh, there's another question. I'm a road director and also a government servant. I am in plantation uh, community communication facilitating office at State Ministry of. Uh, okay. Uh, maintain. Uh, you are. It's the same person. Ah, yes. Okay. I mean, interestingly, I have a train driver on my LinkedIn. I mean. With due respect, like I don't know what to call a train driver. I think he's an engine operator on LinkedIn. One day he posted something like that. He put a took a picture of the railway line from his window and he said, This is what I see when I sit in my office. That touched my heart. Imagine he considered his driving seat as a as an office seat. Amazing content that got the attention of so many people. And I have a station master. And a station master will have so many things happening around him on a daily basis. All what he wants is a mobile phone to take a photo and post it. My goodness, content is... I mean, I don't go out without my phone. Everywhere I go, it's content. I see content. I mean, there's so much of content I don't post. I mean, I'll, I don't think I will post about this this program. Maybe, Vinuri, I will post that flyer you have sent me. Other than that, because there are so many things. For a day, I generally post only one. But sometimes on a day, I there are about three or four things that is happening. So, I, I really have to pick and choose which one I'm going to post. So I guess I answered everybody. I think so, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that is. Yes. I think what's important is the type of content and maintaining the balance between the subjects of the content that you're doing. Yeah, because you also have, you based on your personal brand, if you are thinking about one day getting a job, posting about international markets or oil market or a very specific one continuously. If you, Let's say you have three dogs and every day you post about dogs. And somebody will ask you soon, I have, my dog is sick, what medicine are you giving? They might still think that you are a vet because your content can brand you. Now my son talks about 90% of his content is about entrepreneurship, financial management. You saw no? Because his subject area is entrepreneurship. 
there is a friend of him who is from india she talks about baking because she she has a bake, baking school so she talks about cakes and you know stuff like that she doesn't talk about uh, uh, jeff bezos going to space because that has nothing to do with cakes your contact has to help you to uh, go where you are going yes do we have any more questions um if we have no more questions i think we are coming to an end of today's session um <clears throat> uh i guess that is for today mr amit um so is it okay to wrap it up now yeah yeah all right so today i hope you all learned how to manage uh, uh how to effectively manage what kind of content that you should put which will help you put out there to brand yourself as the person who you want to be so i hope this session was very insightful for you So, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Amit Gamage, for joining with us, for making your time for us amongst your busy schedules, to enlighten us on this very timely and important topic, and also our special gratitude goes towards Nikhil and Insha for sharing his story and his experiences and inspiring us. So, I hope this session will was important to you. And once again, Mr. Amit, thank you so much. for joining us here today thank you good night and stay safe so with that we have we are coming to an end of today's session on behalf of the rosha chaba sachiva sanka business school i would like to thank everyone all to all the participants who joined us here today and i hope we hope that this uh, this session was important and insightful for you so thank you once again and have a good night. Stay safe.